Hello, everybody, and welcome to Taylor, Michigan. It is day one, game one of the Junior League Baseball World Series. We got a great opening game as the Southeast, represented by Virginia, takes on the Central, represented by Wisconsin. So Southeast, the team will hit first, and they'll be led off by Ben Drinkwine. He'll be up to the plate first. Aiden Spagna will hit second. Brody Carver in the three-hole, followed by Nick Warner, the cleanup. Ryland Jordan will hit fifth. Kyle Lenouette will hit sixth. Rodolfi seventh. Zingaro in the eight-hole, and Ty Can at the bottom of the order. Starting pitcher today for the Central is Reggie Hart. So here's Ben Drinkwine to lead things off. And an early candidate for our all-name team. And he'll take one on the outside corner for a strike. Drinkwine considered perhaps the best all-around player for this squad out of Virginia. This is shot right back up the middle. You saw why right there. First guy aboard here for the Southeast. So now Aiden Spagna comes to the plate with a runner aboard. And there's a strike delivered to him. Runner will go. Test the arm behind the plate of Featherston. So credit the stolen base for Ben Drinkwine, and now a runner in scoring position for the Southeast. There's Liam Featherston. Brody Carver is on deck here for the Southeast. And that is into the mitt for strike three. So a swing and a miss for Spagna, and there's one away. Pretty good stuff from Reggie Hart. Little bit off speed that time, just threw him. And the strikeout, first of the game for Hart. That's hit hard to the third baseman. Warner over there, looks the runner off, and now throws it into right field. Runner will turn and hold up there, so now first and third here with one out. So Carver puts it in play. Warner unsure about going to third. And you'll see that consistently here in this tournament. Teams putting pressure on defenses, making them throw the ball and make plays. Here's Nick Warner now in the cleanup spot. Runner does go. They throw down to second and try and bait that runner on third to try and take home plate. So now second and third. So Featherston getting an early dose of the speed he's going to be facing here throughout this tournament. All of these teams can run very well. This guy may be the strongest player on the entire Southeast team. He's got some power. Hits it to the shortstop, Schoenfeld. Go for the sure out at first. The long throw gets him there. But the Southeast able to get a run across, and they're on the board. one nothing. One and two to Ryland Jordan with a runner on third. He'll chop this one to third base. Warner, the good glove. Over to first to get the out. But Southeast does get a run. We're underway here in Taylor. Reggie Hart and the Central coming up for the first time when we come back. Welcome back here to Taylor, Michigan. Junior League World Series is underway. And now the Central comes up to bat for the very first time. The team from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. Team led by Liam Featherston. He will hit first. Charlie McIntyre in the two-hole. Matthew Schoenfeld hits third. Robert Grineau in the cleanup spot. Hovan, Hart, Ali Featherston, Andy Warner, and Thomas Began at the bottom of the lineup for the team from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. There's the pitcher. For the Southeast, Ty Can gets the ball here today. 
Ty Can with tremendous talent. He's also a quarterback on the football field, great all-around athlete, also plays basketball as well. So this guy, very, very athletic. He can come off the mound, make some great plays, and inspire his team. Southeast feels like they've got the right guy on the hill to start off this tournament. Featherson right back to the pitcher. Shortstop has it. Carver over to first for the first out. Team from Central. Fans are up and at him here this morning. Excited for this Junior League World Series. McIntyre swings away again. This could be playable to the third base line. How about the diving grab there by Jordan, the third baseman? Able to leap up. Had his fellow shortstop Carver right there on his back. But able to take care of things, and there's two down. That could have been dangerous with Carver sliding like that, but Jordan able to avoid his teammate. Good sense of awareness there where the fence was. The 3-2 to Schoenfeld. This is hit into right field, and it is going to be caught out there by Rodolfi. Great speed tracking back to make the grab to get the Southeast out of the inning. So a 1-2-3 inning. We've played one here in Taylor, and it's 1-0 Southeast on top. And the Southeast with Kyle Lenouette here leading things off. Lenouette lines it right up the middle for a base hit. Let's take a look at the entire field here in Taylor. We are going to see some tremendous baseball here over the next week. So Lanouette is aboard for the Southeast, and Eddie Rodolfi now coming up to the plate. Lanouette, another big lead at first. See if Hart tries to keep him close here. This is driven into center field. On coming is the center fielder, but he can't make the catch. So McIntyre looked like he may have had it but ended up just trying to trap it. And that's back-to-back -back base hits here for the Southeast. Got a good jump on it. Just could not get the glove under it. So that's three base hits already. Off of Kevin Hart. They lay one down here. The force at third. They look it off. Toss over to first for the sure out. And get it there. So well done by Michael Zingaro moving the runners. Try and get that offense going. Here's Ty Can now in a pitcher on pitcher battle. Each of you had to bounce back from adversity. Can watches this one high, and now the bases are juiced here for the Southeast. That's the first walk issued by Reggie Hart, and it brings up the top of the order, Ben Drinkwine. Coming to the plate for the Southeast. Drinkwine had a base hit his first time up. Swinging away here. It's popped up. The right fielder, Grano out there, makes the grab. They try and tag up. Play at the plate. And he is there in time. So good job on the tag up from Len Wett. Grineau in good position out there. Made a pretty good throw, but just a little bit too deep. Now it's Aiden Spagna's turn. He struck out his last time up. Runner goes. Drink wine. Dig in a second base, and we'll bring him back. One strike to Spagna, watches it outside, fake it 
down to second and just hold everybody up there. Chance to win a title. Be on ESPN. Hit to center. Hit pretty good. McIntyre out there to run it down. And that'll take care of things. But the Southeast able to get another run across the plate. Through one and a half, they lead 2-0 here in Taylor. Whitefish Bay is the hometown of Mr. Council. Such a hero back there as Jordan makes the play at third. He's having a good defensive day thus far for the Southeast. Central looking for their first base runner. And he struck him out. Outside part of the plate. Ty Can paints that corner. And there's two down. First strike out of the game for Ty Can. Watch this pitch. Hart right back to the pitcher, a little squibbler to Can, but he'll take care of it for Southeast. So another 1-2-3 inning. Central without a base runner thus far. We've played two, and it's 2-0 here in Taylor. As Virginia comes to the plate here for the third time, a run in the first, a run in the second here for Virginia. And here they are, third time up as Brody Carver lead things off. Carver hits it hard to the left fielder, and he is able to run it down. That's Ollie Featherston out there for the first out. Well, you can catch all the excitement from the Little League Baseball and Softball World Series tournaments and visit the virtual Fan Zone experience. Visit littleleague.org Fan Zone. That's littleleague.org forward slash Fan Zone. Now it's Nick Warner's turn. Sacrifice grounder his last time up. Ryland Jordan on deck for the Southeast. Hit into right field. Grano takes a step back, and he'll track it down for the Central. There's two away. This team from the Southeast, they admit they did not play their best in their regional final against South Carolina. They didn't pitch it well, didn't play great defense, but they were able to gut out a win. It was one of those games where their manager, Eddie Jordan, says, hey, we got to learn how to win even when we don't play our best. Play made by Began over there at second, and that gets Central back to the dugout. It's 2-0 Central coming up when we come back. And there you go. So he is aboard. Warner drills one to center. Should be playable. Drink wine drifting back. And he's able to make the grab. Team is truly a family, and that's what makes them special. This ball drilled into right field for a base hit. So Began shows why he is the heart and soul as he turns the lineup over, and now first and second here with one out in the third. That's what you do with the ball on the outside part of the plate. Just drive it into right field, take it to that opposite field, go with the baseball. They have made comebacks routine. They're down here early. Two to nothing. Hit it to the shortstop. Possible double play ball. Rodolfi at second tries to toss it over to first. Just safe there. So they get one. And now runners on the corners here with two outs. 
Good job by Carver, the shortstop. Watch him come up and play this. Able to get Began there at second. Second baseman Rodolfi over to Lenouette. Just a tad late. Good effort, though, by this defense from the southeast. And it's ball four. So the bases loaded up for the central. And now Matthew Schoenfeld will come up to the plate. So for the southeast, we're going to bring in Brody Carver here to the mound. He is going to warm up. Matthew swings away, hits it, and it's going to go into right field for a base hit. Got by the first baseman. A run comes in, and Central finally on the board here in Taylor. That ball was absolutely smoked. team starts a little slow but then once they get their bats under them look out another one gets by one run in here comes the second central leads for the first time another ball that was drilled by Grineau thought that the shortstop Lenoet would have a good play at it, but again, took quite a hop, and watch how much was on that one. Really tough to play. Big swing and a miss. And for the second time, a strikeout. Southeast gives up three runs, though. The Central has gotten back into this game. We got a good one here in Taylor, Michigan. Well, this ball game sure changed in a hurry as the Central comes back. Three big runs in the third, and they lead three to two. And if you're Charlie Hoven, he's had a tough day at the plate thus far, two strikeouts. Hey, shake it off because you're getting the ball and you're going on the mound to try and shut down this Southeast offense. So Kyle Lenouette, who had a base hit his last time up, starts things off here for the Southeast. He'll hit it to the shortstop. Schoenfeld, thrown a little bit high, but the first baseman able to make the adjustment for the first down. This ball hit pretty well. Good job right there. Dylan Keene right now playing first base. This is Reed Hyduck at the plate here for Southeast. They'll hit it to the shortstop as well. Boy, Shane Feld getting a lot of opportunities over there. And the shortstop so far is answering the bell. Once again, I'm telling you, this ball's got eyes. Three to the shortstop, and three for three making the play. So one, two, three inning. And Southeast down in order. Three to two, your score. Central on top through three and a half. Hit to the second baseman. Rodolfi's going to have to come up and stab it, and he'll take care of it for the Southeast. 14 players on this central team. So, again, one of the, the deeper teams that we're going to see. That's Reed Heidock, actually, the second baseman there that made that play. There you see the vintage central at bat right here. Down 0-2, then work it, now 3-2. Big swing and a miss, just as I thought he might be getting aboard. And Padgett is retired. So Brody Carver comes with the heat. 
Jackson's speed has been fantastic here in this postseason for the Central. Plays all over the infield. We'll put this one in play right to the shortstop. Lenowet comes up throwing. So the Southeast don't allow any runs in this inning. Trying to come back. They trail by a run at the end of four here in Taylor. Hey, guys. First round, Junior League World Series. So excited to have you with us. First pitch swung on. He popped up. Good job by Schoenfeld, who continues to get it done. That's four straight balls hit to the shortstop. Top of the order now, Ben Drinkwine here for the Southeast. Ben's got a base hit and a sack fly here today. Popped it up. Center fielder is under it, and he takes care of it for the central. So Aiden Spagna up to the plate now for the southeast. Spagna will watch. Ball four, now head down to first. And that brings up Brody Carver, who's been called to duty pitching for the Southeast, trying to help his own calls. So the go-ahead run at the plate here for Southeast. Charlie Hoven working it. Nick Warner is on deck for Southeast. Key moment in this game. Runner goes. Throw down to second. And he is going to beat the throw. Now the tying run in scoring position. Liam Featherston wants a little bit better of himself here. Remember, this is, this is a major league infield you're trying to throw runners out on. Not an easy thing to do. Three balls, one strike right now. Runner goes to third. They've got him there if the tag is down, and he is out. So there's the throw Featherston was looking for. Runner tagged out at third, and let's see, should we have a replay here? We possibly could. It looks like the Southeast may want to challenge this. Eddie Jordan comes over. And talks to our home plate umpire. Let's take one more look and see if that tag did, in fact, get down. And ooh. Good throw. And again, if you are the runner in that situation, you always want to slide. And we've seen several examples of that. And another message for young players, if you slide into that bag, more than often going to get the benefit of the doubt. Nonetheless, see if we can take one more look. Does the edge of that glove... As soon as the ball goes into the mitt, right there, does it get any part of that left leg? And there is that half slide there. One. This team from the southeast hoping to get back in it, keep the inning alive. And he is out. So... First replay, unable to be overturned. Wisconsin still leads Virginia. They come up to bat in the bottom of the fifth when we come back. Struck him out. Right down the pipe. 
Gruber didn't like the pitch. It's the first out of the inning, and another strikeout here for Brody Carver, who has settled in nicely here for the Southeast. Can really see the efficiency of Brody Carver on the mound as he is really feeling good about himself now. Right back to him. Brody Carver will take care of things. And now there's two down. Such a cool time for these young men right before they head back to school, get final chance to, to play this great game with their buddies, be with their families as well, their coaches, and finish off the journeys here in the summer of 2022. That's into center field for a base hit. Well done. So Charlie McIntyre showing what he is made of here today. Matthew had an RBI base hit his last time up. Really got that rally going for the Central and that explosive third inning. This is driven high, and it is deep. Up against the wall. Shanefeld makes the turn for second. McIntyre coming home. The Central now with a 4-2 lead. Oh, struck him out. Curveball that time. Well executed from Brody Carver. So when we come back, Southeast up to bat. Charlie Hoven still on the mound here for the Central. And now let's see what Nick Warner can do. Hit it to the third baseman. Warner over there. Makes a good play for the Central. Andy Warner has got a little bit of a sore arm playing over there at third base. But he has certainly been up to the task here today. Really good defense. He is the jokester on the team as well for this central squad. You always need one of those guys to kind of lighten up the room. This is hit to the shortstop. And another great play by Shane Fell. He is putting on a defensive show here in Taylor. I don't think I remember doing a game where the shortstop was this active in the game as we've seen today. The middle of your infield has got to be the strongest, and that is where Central is in great hands. So now quick two outs. And there it is again. Lanouette hits it right to him. Schenfeld takes care of it once more. A defensive gem by the Central. They lead by two. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth. Here in Taylor. Great to have you with us on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back here to Taylor, Michigan. 4-2 the score. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning here on ESPN+. Plus and another new pitcher for the Southeast. The third of the game is Kyle Lenouette, guy who is described by manager Eddie Jordan as being good at everything. Well, he's going to have to be good here with the ball in his hands. And he's going to have to try and keep this central team off the board for this inning at least. Five, six, and seven here for the Central in the bottom of the sixth. Got him to chase that time. That's a beautiful pitch from Len Wett. And Hoven is retired. But again, Hoven got to keep his head up because if he comes out to pitch in the seventh for the Central, especially last year, he had to dive for a ball in the field, end up chipping two of his teeth in the process and he is on here after making pretty good contact so base runner for the central here in the bottom of the six with one away yeah sometimes you get dinged up playing this great game and hard a couple of his teeth had some damage last year let's take one more look at that play 
Again, a little bit too much mustard on that ball. This is hit to center field. Right at the center fielder out there. It'll be caught. So two down. The runner has to head back to first. Andy Warner puts it in play to the second baseman. Get the sure play at first, and that takes care of Central and the sixth. So no damage done. Southeast, they've got three outs to work with, trying to come back and tie this game in the seventh when we come back. And the first batter, Eddie Rodolfi, has a base hit today for the Southeast. Michael Zingaro will be on deck for this team from Loudoun South Little League. And a good job by Rodolfi. So he is aboard, and now the tying run comes to the plate. Michael Zingaro now the batter. Now the 3 1. And that's just off the plate. So now runners on first and second. So two straight walks. So Ty Can, the great all-around athlete, with the bat in his hands here with nobody out and two runners aboard. This ball is hit into right. It's deep, but the right fielder is all over it. Catch made out there. Tag up is on, and the runner on second will advance to third. First and third. And Ben Drinkwine in the top of the order coming up for the southeast. There's a strike. Hoven runs into more trouble. Try and check over to third base. And now they start throwing it around the infield. Got to be careful here. So Jackson's speed is warming up in the central bullpen. Down the third base line. Let's see if Charlie Hoven can finish this game. Popped up again. Hoven once again with Schoenfeld making the plays defensively. There's two away. That has been the formula throughout this game. And now Aiden Spagna down to his last out. I'll tell you what, if there's a defensive award we could give out before or after each game, this young man would get it. He has been incredible today. Hit to the first baseman. It's caught by McIntyre, and that'll do it. Whitefish Bay, the team representing the Central Region, gets it done. They come from behind after trailing two to nothing. And a balanced effort, just tremendous defense throughout. And they win this game to open the Junior League World Series 4-2. to two. Let's take one more look. Served up right there. McIntyre in position to make the grab. And that takes care of things. But a great game. Really well played all around. 4-2 to two, the final score. And there's a look at our bracket. Southeast and Central opening it up a little bit later on tonight. The West takes on Michigan D5. Junior League World Series off and running. And great to be back after three years off because of COVID. An awesome environment here in Taylor. Hope you enjoyed it. All games airing on the ESPN Network, streaming live and archived on the app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. I'm Drew Felios. We'll see you in about an hour from Taylor.